One method of creating a four to one mechanical advantage is to terminate the end of your rope at the anchor, meaning it is an even system. Hook it into one single sheet pulley that hooks into the into the load, run it through a change of direction, and hook it into a single a second single sheave traveling pulley that also hooks into the load. So now we have two traveling pulleys at the load. I input one unit of tension. That unit of tension goes through a single sheave traveling pulley creating two units of tension through a change of direction, through a second single sheave traveling pulley creating a combined four units of tension at the load. So that's one way of creating a four to one. This is a nice method to create a tensioning system for a high line where you can attach each single sheet pulley into a separate line if it's a if it's a twin track line high line one pulley goes into one rope the other pulley goes into the other rope and they will equalize and tension the ropes equally so if one rope is a little slack this pulley will come back a little bit further than the other one they will equal out and give the same amount of tension to both uh, ropes in the track line. So this would be called the flying W. If we move this um, change of direction pulley into the middle, and then we add a progress capture pulley at the end, onto this strand and we can tension and capture our progress on our four to one. We can also take and add another traveling pulley in onto here creating a three to one onto a four to one which creates a 12 to one compound mechanical advantage. So as of right now this is a four to one with a change of direction we add another pulley through a crusset onto here. We've now created a 12 to 1 mechanical advantage off of our original four to one. And we can count the units of tension to make sure it's a 12 to one. One unit of tension through here creates two units of tension. The original one unit of tension comes, combines onto here to create three units of tension. That three goes in and out, creating six units of tension. Three continues on, in and out, another six units of tension adding together to create 12 units of tension at the load. Great for post-tensioning on a high line. This is called the flying W with a three to one combined onto a four to one to create a 12 to one.